today we're going to be looking at an introduction to RAD Data Pager, part of the Telerik RAD Controls for Silverlight and RAD Controls for WPF Control Suites. As we are often working with large data sets in our applications, there comes a need to utilize paging on our data to make it more manageable and easier to consume. At Telerik, our answer to that is RAD Data Pager Control, which allows you to page any collection as well as working seamlessly with WCF RIA services. Using RAD Data Pager, you can easily hook any data bound control up to the page source collection to utilize paging. We'll be looking at RAD Data Pager in our online Silverlight demos, so we'll start by clicking on Browse Controls, and then up in the Data section, clicking on Data Pager. We'll take a look at the first look demo today. We can see that we have a RAD Grid view that is tied to the RAD Data Pager down below. You can instantly see some of the UI options that you have as far as choosing between different pages as well as the number of pages that are currently available. Of course, this is all customizable as we're about to see. First, we'll start by changing the page size, since we have a certain amount of space here that we can fill, and 10 records really isn't doing the job. So we'll increase this until we find a number that we like. All right, 16 records looks like a good safe amount, as we get a lot of our real estate being used. And when we change that page size, you would have noticed that page count here and down here both change to reflect the different number of pages based on the new page size. We also have the option to set what type of display mode we want on RAD Data Pager, and that would be basically what options we want to move between pages. Here we have all set, but you can reduce it down to just having the text available, having the first, last, previous, next buttons, and the text, or our recommendation, putting all, in which case you have all the different options for how to page, not limiting the users to use either a particular page number or just moving buttons and not knowing what particular page they're using. And additionally, the buttons that you see can be customized as well. So here we have a button count of 10, but imagine if you have less screen real estate, less UI space to use. Well, you can easily lower, or if you have more space available, raise the number of buttons that you have in RAD Data Pager to allow for a much easier experience of moving through large amounts of data. And as you can see, as we click on these different options, the paging loads really, really quickly without any UI issues or freezing, providing that seamless paging experience that your end users want. And one of the best benefits of RAD Data Pager is that you don't need a pageable collection to work with. RAD Data Pager can literally work with any collection, meaning anytime you have a data bound control where you may not want to display all your data at once, you can utilize RAD Data Pager to handle the paging and all those operations without any interaction on your side. And all you would really need to do is instead of having your data bound control tied to the data source, you have it tied to the page source of RAD Data Pager. So it takes care of all the heavy lifting and your UI and controls get the benefit. So as you can see, RAD Data Pager is an excellent addition to your RAD controls for Silverlight and RAD controls for WPF control suites. Stay tuned for more videos about how you can utilize RAD Data Pager in your Silverlight and WPF applications.